Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault and welcome to my first ride review of the newly launched 2018 Pulsar 150 DSI, the Sapphire Blue Color variant. Without further ado, let's go ahead with this video. The festive season is here so we better get ready to witness some paint scheme updates and minor refreshes for all the two wheelers currently available in our market. While featuring the Pulsar 220 passion red color I told you guys that Bajaj will be launching new paint schemes for the entire Pulsar range this festive season. So here we have this new sapphire blue color variant launched for the Pulsar 150 the best selling 150cc bike in our market to date. Just like all other two wheelers in our market the Pulsar 150 now comes with a BS4 compliant engine and also gets the automatic headlamp on feature. To know the advantages that a BS4 engine offers compared to a BS3 engine and also to know whether AH feature affects the battery life of your bike please follow the respective video links appearing on the screen currently coming to this new sapphire blue color variant this is a more vibrant and vivid color scheme compared to the slightly dull nuclear blue color that was available earlier this color shade reminds me of the pulsar 180 ug3 model that was the first bike to have launched via their pro biking outlets opened back in 2006 now taking a quick look at what's new Honestly, there's nothing much. The overall design theme is almost identical and I personally also feel there's no need to mess around with an already successful design. If you're looking for a new and more radical sporty design, you always have the option of going with the newly launched Pulsar 160 NS. Design-wise, we continue to get the wool-fired headlamps that look pretty menacing even to this day. The trademark muscular fuel tank which is a signature design element of the Pulsar family still looks quite appealing. I love the sharp and sleek looking tail section that still continues to lend the bike a modern look overall. The twin LED strips tail lamp layout which is also a hallmark design element of the Pulsar family continues as it is and lends the bike a new age look. Despite all the design elements being retained as they are, the bike still looks quite up to date with its competition which clearly reminds us of the fact that this was a well ahead of its time design theme. The Pulsar 150 ticks all the right boxes in proving to be an all-rounder and the ideal family bike for our Indian market. Now what makes this the ideal family bike for the common man? Well first of all it looks quite appealing especially in this new blue color paint scheme. The bike looks the best it has in quite some time now although I personally also like the laser black color scheme. You can watch my Pulsar 150 laser black video by following the link appearing on the screen currently. Secondly, the seat offered here is the longest and most spacious in this segment which offers adequate room for the rider as well as the pillion, especially allowing the ladies of our nation to feel more comfortable. Thirdly, the engine is nice and refined and responsive and the power delivery is sporty yet smooth which means the rider can enjoy riding this bike day in and day out despite being tied down by his family limitations of not being able to buy a sports bike. Fourthly, the mileage offered by this bike is very impressive. I myself had owned a Pulsar 150 for a year or so and I used to get close to 58 kmpl from my bike in city conditions which is very impressive. Please note that extracting good mileage depends upon your riding style and riding conditions. So please feel free to go through my mileage tips video by following the link appearing on the screen currently. Next, the maintenance cost too is not as expensive as that of its rivals in the market. The spares are easily available and are very affordable. The service cost is also relatively low so it is quite pocket friendly to maintain. Finally, it comes with all the bells and whistles like a digital speedo, LED tail lamps, wolfide headlamp, nitrox, gas charged rear shock absorbers, backlit switches, clip-on handlebars, tubeless tires and best-in-class tank capacity of 15 liters. This is also one of the few bikes in this segment to offer a kickstarter along with the push button start system. Now quickly looking at the engine specs, powering this new Pulsar 150 is the same 4 stroke 2 valve BS4 compliant 149cc DTSI engine that puts out a max power of 14 PS at 8000 RPM and a max torque of 13.4 Nm at 6000 RPM. This comes mated to a 5 speed gearbox. Taking the bike out for a short test ride, the bike feels just as smooth as it has always felt. The power delivery is nice and linear. You rev it harder and it does give out a sporty grunt which highlights its sporty character lurking underneath. 
The initial pickup has been slightly toned down for this PS4 model. However, you can always get that retuned, but a trade-off here would be whether to prefer more mileage with lesser pickup or better pickup with slightly lower mileage. Overall, the refinement is good. The engine responds well to throttle inputs. The brakes are decent enough. The suspension is ideally tuned to offer a comfortable ride and not to bottom out easily even when riding with a pillion on board. The clutch feel is light and the heel and toe shifter provides for easy and convenient gear changes in city traffic. Now looking at some of the cons of the bike, we get Eurogrip tires here which do a decent job but I personally feel MRF tires would do better justice to the kind of performance this bike has on offer. Secondly, the seat foam could be slightly softer and more comfortable. Thirdly, we get a 240mm front disc which is the lowest diameter disc among its competition. I really hope Bajaj consider offering a larger diameter front disc in the future. Looking at other relevant specs, ground clearance is 165mm, more than sufficient to clear the horrible speed breakers in city conditions. Tank capacity is 15 litres which offers a good tank range. Mileage wise, we can expect close to 58 kmpl from this bike if ridden sensibly. Now looking at the price, we need to bear in mind here that the Pulsar 150, despite offering so much, is still the most affordable 150cc bike among its rivals like the RTR 160, the Jigsaw, the Hornet and the FZ version 2.0. The price extra room Hyderabad for this new Pulsar 150 DTSi 2018 model is just around Rs 75,000 which simply seals the deal of this being the ideal family sport bike here in India. No wonder it is still the best seller in its segment. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless and ride safe.